Government of Alberta will provide $55 million in funding uh, to the uh, Li Kai Shing Institute of Virology here at the University of Alberta. This is on top of the $20 million that we already announced uh, earlier this year in, the, in this space. Today's funding follows a request for proposals uh, from Alberta's Ministry of Jobs, Economy and Innovation that was uh, opened earlier this year and uh, the successful applicants are with us here today. The funding to the Li Kaixing Institute will include vaccine portfolio development, support for Alberta cell therapy manufacturing, a level three biosafety lab, and a structural biology facility. The funding will address the need for vaccine development here, but will also support the broader pharmaceutical and life sciences sector in Alberta, helping to create uh, new jobs and, and opportunities for economic diversification. On top of this exciting news, Alberta's government is also announcing three other recipients of funding from the spring request for proposals. Entos Pharmaceuticals will receive $15.5 million from Alberta to fund clinical trials and establish a commercial manufacturing facility here in Edmonton. Applied Pharmaceutical Innovations will receive $5.6 million to build a new facility for manufacturing ingredients for pharmaceuticals, and Northern RNA will receive $5 million to help expand RNA development in the province. While this is contingent on federal funding coming through as well, this $26.1 million uh, in funding to the three approved companies will help prepare our province to meet the healthcare challenges of the future. This grant will make a difference. It will make a difference in our efforts to develop and manufacture effective vaccines and therapeutics for emerging viruses. We all know COVID-19 is not the first pandemic and it won't be the last. Over the past two decades, we have witnessed outbreaks of SARS, flu, Zika, and many other viruses. For the most part, we were caught off guard with no effective medical countermeasures. Here at the University of Alberta, we feel that we, we have to assume a leadership role in this, in this field and in this regard. This funding sends a very, very critical message uh, to federal partners that uh, Alberta really sees its role within the supply chain. Uh, a lot of the investments in vaccine production uh, around the world have come from a federal level, uh, working in conjunction with the regional areas. So I think that um, this is a great first step and it will, as I said in my remarks, will lead to tremendous benefits to, uh, to the province. Um, but again, it's the first step in, uh, in a road to, to really boosting the life sciences economy in the province. The university has been building its infrastructure and expertise in virology and immunology over the years, and this positioned us very well to respond to the government of Alberta's call to grow Alberta's vaccine and therapeutic capacity. This grant and its potential outcomes are well aligned with the strategic plan of the government of Alberta to diversify the economy, the strategic plans of the University of Alberta and the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry to increase translation and commercialization of discovery research. Mr. Premier and Minister, we are very grateful for the tremendous support from the government of Alberta and the people of this great province. With your help, we will continue to play a significant role in the control of current and future pandemics.